Welcome to Johnny's World. Hi, welcome back to Johnny's World. Today I wanted to share with everyone that my two newest additions in my avocado tree family. I got the Warts Avocado Tree, aka the Little Cado. Now, I bought this at a Home Depot for $29.99 and uh, they call, call it the Dwarf Avocado Hybrid Dwarf, but it is the Little Cado. And the Little Cado is a hybrid. It's, it's a hybrid between a Mexican and Guatemalan avocado tree. And it is a type A. And they say that this is truly the one true uh, dwarf avocado tree. So this is supposed to get only about 8 to 10 feet. And I read a lot of, in a lot of um, websites that this is the one avocado tree that you can actually grow in a container. So I actually bought two just because I love how these avocado trees look. So hopefully um, when it gets a little bit bigger, I'm gonna transplant it to a 24 inch box. But for today's purposes, I am gonna transplant these two beautiful little cados into a 15 gallon uh, from these five gallon containers. I have and as you can see it does have some drainage holes down there but I like to actually add even more drainage holes just because I'm gonna be keeping these in there for a while so there's a lot more holes so they'll help improve the drainage then I put a little bit some of this uh, Gary's best top pot in here so I did put some soil in here so if you watch my prior video uh, you know how I like to transplant these uh, smaller container to bigger containers basically I like to cut along the edges on the base all throughout like that so basically this little thing the circle falls right off and then just cut this and uh, but uh, one of the viewers Frank actually came up uh, with his own recommendation what he does is he actually cuts it all the way down and then he ties it with a rope and then that way you could just untie the rope and it just uh, the whole thing just comes off without having to cut it so you know I think I'm gonna adopt Frank's uh, method on on that portion so what we're gonna do right now is just cut along the edge with this and then just cut down and I'm just gonna tie it with a with a string or something so it doesn't come undone so basically as you can see I did cut the bottom so that just falls right off I did cut this all the way and I tied a rope on it so basically when I put it into the bigger container I'm just gonna untie the rope and and just take out the container thank you Frank for that recommendation I, I think uh, that is an improvement for my former method so thank you very much so as you can see I put it in and now I'm just gonna simply untie the rope and I don't have to do any additional cuttings, uh, which is very nice. And I just take it out. And as you can see, the root ball is completely intact. So I'm gonna put some soils around it. And uh, so I did put the soil in there. So now what I like to do is I like to put a little bit of compost on top of the soil. And I'm going to put a little bit of this earthworm casting on top too. Mix it up and I'm only going to put a very tiny bit of fertilizer. I know some people uh, say that when they're this small you shouldn't put some fertilizer. Some people say you should not put fertilizer but I'm just going to put a little bit. I, I like putting a little bit of fertilizer because I, 
feel like gives it a little bit of juice. So um, put, I'm going to put the compost, worm glow, uh, earthworm casting, and the little, just a tiny bit of fertilizer. I'm all going to mix it on top. And uh, compost I like using is I like the Dr. Earth natural choice. It's supposed to be organic, all-purpose compost. And I also like using the Dr. Earth natural wonder organic and natural fruit fertilizer and the earthworm casting I have is the GNB organics so everything is supposed to be organic okay, so put some of this compost and the reason why I don't like putting compost or in in the mixed inside the soil is I don't like anything in the soil that rots that could give chance for my avocado tree to get any type of root rot. So that's why I like putting this only on the top like that. Okay, that looks good. Then I'm going to get some of this worm casting. Now, sometimes I don't do the worm casting. It I guess it depends on my mood. But, but sometimes I do like mixing it on top of the soil as well. And like I said, just a little bit of fertilizer. I mean, these small little trees already have some fertilizer, so... You don't want to overdo it with the fertilizer and some people just recommend not fertilizing it when they're just young but just based on what I my my trees I think when they're even this young they just like getting a little bit of juice when you transplant it and since I'm transplanting it this from the 5 to the 15 gallon I like doing it and at the end of the day after this, I like putting a, a cardboard around it, like let's say a toilet paper roll. After you're done with it, just cut it and just, just wrap it around. And then I just put mulch on top, kind of like this, what I did with the, with the shower wall right there. Um, put this toilet paper roll around and then I just cover it with, with uh, mulch, so the mulch doesn't directly touch the avocado tree so I'm gonna do that here too so I'm just gonna mix a little bit so I'm gonna mix the compost with the earthworm casting and the fertilizer so I got the toilet paper roll I just cut it in the middle and what I like to do is just wrap it around the tree like that and then I tape it. And after I tape it, I put mulch over it. And that prevents the mulch, when I put the mulch on top, it, that prevents the mulch from directly touching the avocado tree. The, I, I don't want it to touch that at all. And that's basically how it looks. So basically the toilet paper roll and then I put scotch tape over it. And if the trunk ever gets big enough, thick enough, it's just gonna break through the tape. So I like, that's why I like it and I like using this because um, you know you put a lot of mulch in it the mulch won't directly touch the trunk of the tree so I like doing that and the final step is the mulch and with the mulch I like using the Dr. Earth premium durable micro bark um, now with any of these you could use any other you know material that you find I just like these um, I like the Dr. Earth brand because it's it's readily available at my local nurseries, and you know they're all you know the compost and the fertilizer is supposed to be organic. Um, I like using Gary's Best Top Pot, but I mean like you could use anything. I mean you could use any other compost or fertilizer or mulch or earthworm casting or even the uh, the soil. Um, when I don't have any of the Gary's Best, what I like, the soil I like using is anything that's well draining, like a 
citrus palm cactus soil works for me and you know so those uh, that type of soil has worked great for me so uh, but anyways uh, let's put the final touch on the final touch is uh, this wonderful mulch I, I like it because it's kind of the micro it's small it, it smells good I like the color um, it's a really pretty color bark brown it's, it's very beautiful so um, I like covering this on top and as you can see with the charwool and the, the gems over there I covered those all in mulch as well um, you know on nice sunny days it traps in the, the water so uh, the mulch even in container is a good thing I think mulch for avocado trees once you plant it I think at that point it's a must but even in containers I think it it's uh, much better to put mulch in than not but like I said I don't like my mulch directly touching my avocado tree branch my uh, the trunk so I like putting this uh, cardboard around it so but anyways Here's the final product. So here's my little Kado. It's happy in this 15 gallon from the five gallon I transplanted from. So the only step I have is to water it. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, if you like this channel, please press the like and subscribe button. Thank you.